On the Republican road to the presidential nomination, former GOP candidate Carly Fiorina is endorsing Senator Ted Cruz. She stomped with Cruz in Miami today. Both of them ripped the front runner, Donald Trump. Now tonight, the two remaining Democratic presidential hopefuls are heading to Florida for what could be their last debate. Hillary Clinton is halfway to the nomination, but after a surprise Tuesday night, could this race take longer than many expected? CBS 42 national correspondent Mark Meredith has a look from Washington. Another Tuesday, another impressive win for Hillary Clinton. I want to be the president for the struggling and the striving for people who have a dream. While Clinton claimed victory in Mississippi, in Michigan, a surprise. Let me. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders shocked pollsters and political experts with a win in Motor City and beyond. And frankly, we believe that our strongest areas are yet to happen. We're going to do very, very well in the West Coast. But when you listen to the Clinton campaign, it's clear they're looking past the nomination right to November. We have our differences, which you can see when we debate, but I'll tell you what, those differences pale in comparison to what's happening on the Republican side. Tonight, both Clinton and Sanders will meet in Miami for a debate aimed at Hispanic voters. But when you look at the latest polls, in Florida at least, Clinton still has a wide lead, as much as 20 points. The latest delegate count, which includes superdelegates or party leaders who get to help choose the nominee, shows Clinton far ahead of Sanders. Right now, Clinton leading by an estimated 650 delegates. And with that kind of strong lead, it's no surprise Hillary Clinton's campaign continues to be the favorite punching bag for Republicans. Well, good luck to you. And, and honestly, we really haven't even started on her. We only had one little skirmish about a month ago. Tonight's debate is being hosted by Univision, but it'll be simulcast on CNN. After tonight, the candidates, they'll be crisscrossing Florida and other states around the country like Ohio and North Carolina, states that are voting little less than a week from now. In Washington, I'm Mark Meredith.